Hello, my reading friends. It's a story time, and today we are going to read the Magic Colors of Sparkleshire book, written by Jane F. Collin, illustrated by David Trumbull. Once upon a time, in a Sparkleshire home of the two fairies, little fairy Joseline dreamed of the day she would be old enough to fly her own to the fairy route. Wow! Look at those colors. They are magically bright. Why are there incredible colors in that one spot in the sky? asked Joseline. That spot is right above the Tooth Fairy rooting dock, where fairies gather before they collect teeth. The magic is so strong there, its colorful light bursts into the sparkle shire sky. We use the magic of the colors in our work to help Earth, Earth's children. I thought our work was gathering teeth and giving each child a coin, said Jocelyn. That is just the most glamorous job, said her mother. What are the other jobs? asked Jocelyn. How do the fairies use the colors? Why aren't there bright colors in the rest of Sparkleshire, Mama? Her mother smiled and the barrage of at the barrage of questions, the Queen's regulations state, all magical colors must be used to assist Earth's children. So, the colors we see here in the Sparkleshire are softer and more muted because their magic is being applied elsewhere. Gee. If I were a queen, I would figure out a way to use the colors for our work and still let them be visible here. Jocelyn shook her head. There must be some way to change the regulations so all the Sparkleshire could see and enjoy the brilliant colors. What is the point of being a tooth fairy if your kingdom can't see magical colors. I wish I was a queen. Jocelyn's mother gave her a big hug. Many little fairies dream of becoming the queen and changing things they don't like, but fairies can't just wish themselves to be the ruler. Then how can I help everyone here see these colors? Her mother thought for a moment. I'm not sure. Maybe you could petition the queen and her council to allow Sparkleshire to use more magical color. But you would have to have a good reason for changing our whole system. I do! Those colors are beautiful! It filled me with joy just to see them, even that far away in the sky. Wouldn't everyone here be happier if they could see those splendid colors all the time? Jocelyn made a decision. I want to be the queen. That is a noble goal, my wonderful daughter. But you can't just decide to be queen. You have to earn the crown. Can you teach me how? asked Jocelyn. I want to start right now. <laughs> I admire your spirit, said her mother, taking her by the elbow. A mother's most important job is to help her children develop the tools to succeed in life. I will teach you everything I know. We will, we will start at the place where the magic percolates so strongly. It escapes into the atmosphere. The tooth fairy rooting dock. Mother and daughter fairies sat together. Joseline drew her breath in amazement. 
fairies flew about in all colors of the rainbow. I never imagined there could be such beautiful colors. These colors are more dazzling than I even dreamed. Every color that I see in my face is my favorite color, she exclaimed. Good, replied her mother, because once you can see the colors, you can begin to feel their charms and learn their secrets. This is the first step toward earning those colors and becoming responsible to fairy. Joseline's eyes sparkled with bright lights of the enchanted colors. The magical colors inspired many magical wishes, which flew around in her heart like the many colorful fluttering fairies she watched. Why is each fairy only one single bold color? asked Joseline. The color of each fairy shows her personal strength, her mother said. Jocelyn pointed to a fairy experimenting with flying devices. How daring! The magic of orange is its courage, said Jocelyn's mother. Orange fairies are the bravest. I will have to be brave to collect teeth, Jocelyn paused thinking. Do fairies ever get bitten by dogs? Dogs are awfully scary when they bark, and I have only seen fairy-sized dogs. Dogs on earth must be enormous. She snapped out her wings, but fairies, especially a queen fairy, must be brave. Yes, a queen needs a bailer to be strong and heroic leader. Her mother squeezed her shoulder recently. Don't worry, we all have to search for our courage sometimes. Look, that poor fairy has a broken leg. Teeth collecting must be really dangerous. Oh, I'm going to need to study orange courage very hard, said Jocelyn. Even when it's dangerous, a blue fairy is loyal and dedicated to her job, said her mother. True blue, said Jocelyn. At least that brave fairy has a friend to help her. A loving and kind fairy like you will find it easy to be devoted to your job and to your friends, smiled her mother. Being a good fairy will be good practice for becoming a ruler. A queen uses the magic of blue to be faithful to all her subjects and to protect her kingdom's best interests. What a swarm of yellow fairies! Jocelyn exclaimed. Those yellow busy bee fairies are industrious. They keep our kingdom system working. Their positive energy empowers us to do our best work, her mother explained. Yellow is a busy bee color, Jocelyn agreed. I think I see a streak of yellow in you, Jocelyn's mother smiled, lifting up her Jocelyn's hair. You have always worked hard at your studies. Now you must apply that energy toward mastering each color and adopting its character traits. I think you will like learning the colors. It's fun. If you love what you do, your job never feels like work. I imagine it is hard work to rule Sparkle Shire, said said Jocelyn. It is. What? That is why Queen needs to accurate all the magic of all the colors. Jocelyn observed the clever looking green fairies. What are those fairies doing? Her mother pointed to different groups and she said, that fairy is calculating new flying routes. That fairy over there is working on our communication systems. This team is 
of intelligent fairies works on making us more efficient and productive. I bet those fairies chart the star's motion with that giant machine," said Jocelyn. "Good guess, you smart fairy," said her mother. "These fairies are trying to make our future better." I thought it wasn't all magic," said Jocelyn. "Not all of it," smiled her mother. "Our technology is advancing so rapidly that sometimes it's hard to see where science ends, and their magic begins." A queen takes the color green to an even higher level, for she must not only be smart; she must use her intelligence. Wisely, a giggling fairy, colored red from wing to toe, flew past, turning cartwheels as flew. That looks fun," laughed Jocelyn. "Where would be where we would be without love?" Her her mother grinned. "We can't take ourselves." Too seriously, red fairies have the best senses of humor. They find joy and mirth in everything they do. You might say they are tickled pink. No, tickled red. Chuckled Jocelyn. Jocelyn turned and curtsied to real fairy, hobnobbing with other dignitaries. Purple is the color of royalty, Jocelyn's mother whispered. Purple was my original favorite color, Jocelyn whispered back. I believe we are attached to colors whose magic is already within us. The secret of purple is its calm, strength, and dignity. I can see that strength in you. Little fairy," said Jocelyn's mother. "Mama, you are pink!" Jocelyn shouted, suddenly realizing her mother was a wonderful color too. Her mother blushed the rosy pink color of her dress, wings, and hat. Yes, my little fairy. Some colors are only visible to those who see. With their hearts, this evidence you have inner vision. You are full of high hopes to become queen. The pink virtue is nestled in your heart. Pink is the color of hope and love. Aren't they the most magical of all? Exclaimed Jocelyn. I'm ready to be queen right now. Her mother smiled. That's wonderful, but there must just be a little more work that you need to do. Can you just tap me with your wand so I can be colored with all the magic? Jocelyn pleaded. We are given magic to help us make the world a better place. It's a big responsibility. We are never allow allowed to use magic on ourselves. Jocelyn looked sad. I can't just give you the magic, Jocelyn's mother explained. The only way to achieve any goal, especially the goal of becoming queen, is to work hard. To earn it, but don't be discouraged. I am here to help you, and you will meet many more fairies who will be only too happy to assist you in your journey. When you have learned the secrets and the magic of all the colors, you will have developed all the skills you need to achieve your fullest potential. It may take a long time. Jocelyn promised, but I will earn all the colors. When I do, I'm going to share them with all of Sparkleshire. I will become queen of the Tooth Fairies. Jocelyn smiled, already starting to dream of that day. 
I believe you can reach any goal if you set your heart to it, said her mother with a warm, loving smile in return. I'm going to watch you sparkle. The end. I hope, friends, you enjoy this magic book. Have a great day and see you next time.